Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another mukbang and I've been promising Subway for so long and I was starving after filming today so I was like, you know what, I'm going to film a mukbang and it's going to be Subway. I am completely starving. So today I got Lay's barbecue chips because they're vegan. I also got a veggie sub on Italian from Subway because they have a lot of vegan options. Basically on here I just got banana peppers, lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, onions, tomato, mustard, and a little bit of sweet onion. I love sweet onion sauce because it is so sweet. I'm starving so we're just going to dive right in. But I was watching Black Hoodie's mukbang the other day. If you don't know who Black Hoodie is, he's a newer type of mukbanger and he's really good. He's pretty fun, like his stories are really good. And he puts chips on his subway too, so he's awesome. If you guys haven't checked him out, go watch his channel. So I'm just gonna dig right in because I am starving. Mm. So today I got Lay's barbecue chips, veggie sub on Italian, and today I got a Diet Coke. I've been doing really good not drinking Diet Coke, but I love Subway's Diet Coke. So I would splurge today. Mm. The only thing about getting sweet onion on your sub is it's so sticky. I guess because of the sugar in it. It's so sticky, so it makes your hands all gooky. But it's so good. It's worth it. I just got done filming today Moose Easter tank video. I hope you guys loved it because I thought it turned out so cute. Obviously, she still preferred most of her old toys, but I think it's so fun doing theme videos. It's my first theme video ever. If you haven't seen my new Easter cage theme video, I'll link it below. You should go watch it. It's really cute. Did you guys like my pizza mukbang that I did with my sister? I've been having, I've been having so much fun, including her in my videos lately, and like my veg fest vlog that I did. I've had so much fun making videos with her lately. There's something about cucumber and mustard that just like the flavors work so good on a veggie sub I don't know I'm just I love it so a lot's been going on lately I feel like I've been filming day and night I've been so busy trying to get all these video ideas I have filmed and like up for you guys. I really hope you guys are enjoying them. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any videos you wanna see. I got a suggestion for like a hamster treat video, so I think I'm gonna make one of those. I think that would be really cute and really fun. I'm just not sure what I wanna do yet. I have a couple ideas. <clears throat> but speaking of hamster, um, Last night, I had a nightmare about Moo. It was like literally the worst dream I've ever had regarding her. So, short version of the dream. I basically, I had a dream that I took Moo to my mom's and like, her tank so I brought her tank with me and I went upstairs to check on her like while I was visiting or whatever which is I've never taken her to my mom's before so I don't know where this like situation or dream came from I have no idea 
I went upstairs to go check on her in her tank and I looked inside there and someone, I don't know who, but it was so weird. It, I looked in her tank and someone had put like three guinea pigs in her tank with her and I immediately just like, like started screaming and like busting out in tears. I don't know why. I mean, there's not even a guarantee that guinea pigs would like kill her or hurt her, you know? But for some reason, it was like nightmare quality to me. And I just like started freaking out and panicking and like I couldn't breathe like in my dream. And then I ran downstairs and I was like, mom, someone put guinea pigs in, you know, moose tank or whatever. And it was like the weirdest nightmare, but it was like traumatizing because I was like, I guess it is like my worst fear, like something happening to her. And apparently guinea pigs were the thing that just scared me to death. Thinking back, it's like ridiculous, but, but she's like my world. Like I love her so much. And so anything getting in her tank is like a worse fear. But I was so scared after I saw the guinea pigs in her tank with her. I don't even know if like she was okay or anything. Like I literally woke up in a cold sweat right after I panicked. It was just so bizarre. This is so good. It's like hitting the spot, you know? Mm. Have you guys ever had dreams, like nightmares about your pets before? I haven't had a nightmare about any of my pets in years. Like, I can't even tell you the last time. I do have nightmares, you know, periodically, but like, this one was like truly terrifying. I don't know why it scared me so bad. But this is the first dream I've ever had about Moo, so. So Easter's tomorrow. I'm super excited. I'll be uploading her spring and Easter cage theme today, which by the time you see this, it will already be uploaded. Again, I'm going to link it down below if you haven't seen it. Easter is so bittersweet for me. Like, I love Easter. Like, the idea of Easter. But, like, I hate that so many baby lambs have to die, you know? Because, obviously, it's traditional to eat lamb at Easter time or whatever. It never has been in our family, but apparently it's a tradition. The symbol for Easter is, like, rabbits and baby lambs and things. And it's just so ironic that, like, they're all slaughtered for the holiday. It's just, like, sucky. I'm almost done. This is so good. This has hit the spot like nothing else. Okay guys, that is it for this mukbang. I am done eating. I hope you guys have a safe and happy Easter. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, be kind. Bye.